Hi everyone, back here again for another video. In this video, I'm comparing the Logitech M337 mouse and the multi-device M585 Bluetooth mouse. I have the M337 mouse since 2018 and I have been using this with my K380 keyboard. This has served me well and so it has aged in time. The M585 on the other hand is my latest mouse which I bought earlier this year. I have paired this with all my Logitech keyboards, use it with my work laptop and my iPads, and my experience so far has been great. These two mice are almost the same price. Surprisingly though, the M337 is a bit more expensive than the M585. For me, although the M337 colors are fun, the M585 has better build quality and I could use it to two devices at the same time. This should be priced more than the M337. Personally, the form of the M585 feels better for my hand and wrist. Connecting this mice is as simple as it can get. First time I use it, pairing it with my iPad is easy. I just turn on Bluetooth on the iPad, power on the mouse, and set it on pairing mode, and that's it. It's connected and ready to use. I use the same process for both the M585 and the M337. Again, it's pretty straightforward. I've made several videos about this two mice, so check it out in the cards or in the description box below. Something new which I guess came with the iPad OS 14.1 or 14.2 is the new pointer style. Previously, if you've seen my other videos, by default, the pointer icon is a small circle. Now it's bigger, way bigger. I search in the internet and it looks like turning off perform touch gestures in the accessibility settings will bring it back to the smaller icon. Battery is great for the M585 as I haven't changed it since I got it three or four months ago. Logitech claims that the M585 can last for 24 months on the same battery, so I'm keen to test this. I will keep you guys updated on the battery life. I will leave comments on my videos, so come back to watch this and my other videos if you want to be updated. On the other hand, Logitech claims a 10-month battery life for the M337. In my first video on the M337 way back in 2018, it did last me 10 months. Lately, I have not really taken notice since I have been using a rechargeable battery. So maybe I'll change it up and use a regular battery and then test it and I'll keep you guys updated as well. Both these mice are not silent. Clicks are solid and both sound the same. If I compare the clicks on the silent mouse M331, I feel the clicks are better with this too as the silent one feels flimsy. Or maybe I'm just not used to it. Here's how the mouse clicks sound like. Scrolling with the scroll wheel, I feel is better on the M585 compared to the M337. This is how the M337 scroll looks like. This is how the M585 scroll looks like. At least for me personally, I notice a better and smoother scrolling on the M585. Customizations can be done here when the assistive touch is turned on. On both mice, I normally set the scroll wheel click to go to the home screen. While 
on the M585 as there are more buttons like the two side buttons. I set these two buttons to scroll left and to scroll right. It's just easier to scroll if, for example, I'm on a spreadsheet and then it's a big file that I need to scroll left and right. I tested the horizontal scroll on the M585 and it works fine. And I can set the natural scrolling in the general settings of the trackpad and mouse. On the other hand, this horizontal scrolling on the M337 works fine when I use it on my work Windows laptop, but it does not seem to work on the iPad though. Using these two mice on documents works as usual. You can double click to select and you can do the usual copy, cut, and paste. I can also select text and drag to paste. And uh, just a note I, that I got the M585 mouse because there was a time I had some clicking issues on the M337. It double clicks instead of single click, which really caused a disruption in my workflow. And since I got the M585, I really enjoyed using it and I have not been using the M337 that much. So in conclusion, I think you already have a hint that for me, the M585 is a better mouse. And with a cheaper price, in fact, I see it on sale in many online stores, this makes it very worth it. The M337 was good for a couple of years until I had that clicking issue. I do hope I won't have the same problem on the M585. So hope this video has helped you to get more idea how these two mice work. If you want more information, check out my other videos on the M585 and the M337 link in the cards and in the description box below. Appreciate it if you can like and subscribe as we are very close to 500 subscribers. Please do watch out for my next upcoming videos. So that's it. Thanks for watching.